is here tonight. She's so good. Of course, the star of Orange is the New Black. Orange is a big part of her life. Big show on Netflix. Good to see you, everybody. Listen, here's the thing. Uh, with respect to Taylor and everybody who loves Orange is the New Black, Orange is, in fact, not the New Black. Black is the New Black, okay? <laughs> black is not a color. It's a life choice. Trust me, I've spent a lot of time together with it. Hold on a sec. I gotta make one phone call here, if you guys don't mind. Uh, she probably won't answer because my mom always dodges my calls. But today is my mom's birthday. So, aww. <laughs> she won't answer. She never answers my calls. She screens me all the time. Hey, Marushka, uh, it's me, it's your son. Uh, I just wanted to say happy birthday and tell you that I love you. You guys want to sing happy birthday to my mom? Okay, one, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Mary, Mary. Her mom, happy birthday to you. Okay, I love you and uh, call me back, bye. Let's deal with the day. Yeah, it was, uh, she's, Bucky, you called me on the air. You called me on the air. Let's see if she calls me back. Uh, it was something out of a Western, where we all gathered around the office at high noon to watch two powerhouses face off for pride, for glory, for bragging rights on Twitter, Canada versus the USA in sledge hockey in Sochi. Uh, and then, uh, look, Americans started chirping us on the Twitter machine. They started it, and we just sent them back photos of our health care bills. Oh, wait, we don't have them. <laughs> But look, it was heartbreak. It was heartbreak. We lost 3 nothing to the Yanks. They were full measure for the win. But there's always silver linings, or in this case, bronze linings. Cheer on the boys in the bronze medal game on Saturday. Also, a massive shout-out to the Curlers. In the Paralympic, Paralympic Games, they set a new scoring record. They beat Slovakia 16-0. That's incredible. <laughs> Healthy competition. It's so quickly turning into election overload here in Canada. We've talked about the provincial election in Quebec that might have national implications for everybody. Polls still have the PQ in majority territory right now. Though the Liberals seem to be surging, perhaps because this is not Canada. <laughs> of course, the Toronto mayor race heated up even more. And maybe unofficially started because now all the expected major candidates are in the mix. Well, until Drake and Margaret Atwood finally throw their head in the rain. <laughs> Oddly, everybody's campaign slogan is exactly the same. Every single candidate is saying it couldn't possibly be worse. <laughs> By the way, even Rob Ford is using that very one. The most recent of the candidates you know today, of course, was Olivia Chow, uh, resigned her seat in the House of Commons yesterday, which means by election, there'll probably be one coming up in June, actually a few. It'll coincide with spring, although spring's not a real thing anymore. <laughs> we're actually just gonna add one week to summer now. We're just gonna call it Spummer or something right now. <laughs> there will also be two more by-elections, both in Alberta. Uh, we got McLeod and Fort Mac Athabasca. And if all that doesn't give you an election fatigue, Ontario may see a snap election very soon as well. If the Liberals can't convince one of the other parties to support their budget, then Premier Kathleen Wynne has to get into it. She was actually here talking about it. <laughs> hey, when the campaign starts, and it will happen at any day, it could happen, whenever. Yeah. Are you guys going to go? I mean, I, I'm already seeing with the Andrea Horwath ads. How negative is this? Are you prepared to go? <laughs> so I don't, I don't like negative uh, advertising. I really don't like it. And so what I've said to people is we have to contrast. You know, we have to, we have to demonstrate how we're different from the Conservatives and from the NDP. But I, I am not interested in attacking human beings. You know, I'm not in, in, interested in attacking, in, in attacking a personality. Andrea Horvath and Tim Hudak are in this business for good reasons and for their own reasons. And so um, I, can, I can challenge their ideas or their lack of ideas, but I don't want to get into a personal attack. You can catch that full interview on Tuesday right there in the red chair. It's good to stay up to date on the news that affects our lives because every now and then I like to bring you a story that is apropos of nothing. It's very peaceful. It was like a spa song. It was so nice. It has been said that an infinite number of monkeys on an infinite number of typewriters would eventually type the works of Shakespeare. Don't know if that's true, but apparently our simian cousins are pretty good at something else that we love to do, 
video games. Researchers at University of Michigan Dearborn found that a 22-year-old female chimp named Pansy, strange, significantly outperformed 12 children and four adults on a virtual reality video game, completing the game faster than any of the humans. However, the human adults did outdistance the pansy and the consumption of energy drinks and corn chips. Now, <laughs> I don't know Pansy's gamer tag, but we're no strangers here to the joys of video games. We've actually been developing our own video game based on this show, and it gets nasty at the end. Top. Just ask anybody who's faced her in the Canada Reeves Arena. Bruising. That's your debrief.